The peacock eel is a unique freshwater fish with many different names like Siamese spiny eel, the spot fin spiny eel, or even the striped peacock eel. Although these fishes look like eels, they're technically not true eels. These tropical fish have elongated bodies like eels. However, they do not belong to the same family at all. These fish come from nearly stagnant watered rivers in Southeast Asia. They're most prevalent in the Mekong, Chao, and Maiklong river basins. For many aquarists peacock eels appear to be challenging to care for, but they're surprisingly manageable with a little bit of know-how. The peacock eel has a slim and elongated body with a pointed snout. But unlike a true eel, this fish has separated dorsal, anal, and caudal fins. Interestingly enough, the dorsal fin has grown into sharp spines. They are difficult to see, but the spines can do some severe damage if you're not careful when cleaning the aquarium. The peacock eel is usually tan or yellowish green in color. A defined line of brighter yellow runs laterally from the snout to the caudal fin. The typical peacock eel is a lifespan of around 8 and 18 years. These fish are quite big compared to conventional tropical species. The average peacock eel size is usually around 12 inches in length. Many assume that peacock eel care is difficult. While they certainly have their challenges, these freshwater fish are not so challenging. The recommended peacock eel tank size is 40 gallons. A larger tank provides more room to roam and it gives the fish more space to reach their true size potential. Fortunately, these fish can tolerate a wide parameter range. Water temperature, 73 degrees Fahrenheit to 82 degrees Fahrenheit is ideal. pH levels, 6.5 to 7.5. Water hardness, 6 to 25 dH. The most important thing to have is a thick layer of a sand substrate. Peacock eels are burrowers that like to hide most of their body in riverbeds. Gravels, rocks, and pebbles can harm the fish's body. Create a sandy bottom that's at least 4 inches deep. Then, add several hiding spots throughout the tank. Use many decorative objects that your fish can slither into. Some good options include faux rock caves, driftwood, and PVC pipes. Whatever you use, make sure that there are no sharp edges that could harm the fish. It's also a good idea to add plants. To keep the environment calm, adjust filter outputs to reduce flow as much as possible. These fish do not like significant movement in water. Peacock eels are powerful jumpers therefore secure your aquarium with a lid. Their thin bodies make it easy for them to get through small holes. Peacock eels can be a little picky when it comes to food. In fact, it's one of the more difficult aspects of peacock eel. In the wild, they will emerge at night to find high-protein foods. A similar diet is best for life in captivity. You can provide insect larvae, bloodworms, nightcrawlers, brine shrimp, and more. They will consume live, freeze-dried, and frozen meals.
These fishes only eat two or three times a week. Contrary to popular belief, peacock eels are quite docile. They're pretty shy compared to other popular tropical fish. They prefer to spend the days relaxing in hides or burrowing beneath the substrate. You will see the fish bury most of their body under the sand. The only exception is the head, which pokes out to observe the surrounding. Don't expect to see these fish out and about during the day. They're primarily nocturnal and only emerge once the lights go off. Peacock eels can get along with most fish. The only exception is other peacock eels. They're known to get territorial against those of their own species. Peacock eels make fantastic community fish. They're easygoing and like to stick to themselves. As a result, you can house them with others without any issues. Due to their size, it's best to avoid small fishes like neon tetras, snails, crabs, and small invertebrates. Stick to fish that are larger than the peacock eel's mouth to keep the peace. Some good tank mates for the peacock eel include rainbow fish. Breeding peacock eels in captivity like aquarium is very difficult. In the wild, these fish spawn during the rainy season when the environment floods. If a pair decides to breed, they will chase each other around in a display of courtship. Females then lay sticky eggs onto floating plants. After three or four days, the eggs will hatch. 